Okay, this video will be about how to embed a YouTube video into one of your web pages. Uh, what I did was I opened up one of my older layouts that I had for demonstration purposes. This was that cat page and I went ahead and made the articles longer here in my CSS designer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed a YouTube video here. So first what I need to do is I'm just going to hit a return key here to give myself a little bit of space. And my cursor is right here right now. I can tell because it's highlighted when I click here. Okay. So I'm going to go to YouTube. Okay. I'm going to put in the topic I want and I'll just do cats. Now, make sure that you are, when you pick a video for this demonstration, you're picking a video that's fairly new. Some of the older videos um, in YouTube are using Flash, and we want to avoid that. So I'm going to go under the filter here, and I'm going to do this year. So a cat video from this year. And this one's cute. I'll go ahead and pick this one, so I'm going to click on it. The most common reaction to a birth arrangement is... I'm just going to stop it for right now. And what I'm going to do next is under the video where it says share, I'm going to click that. And then you've got some different options as far as what you want to place the video into. And I want to select embed because this is going to give me the code that I need. So I'm going to click on embed. When this dialog box pops open, what I'm going to do is either select it and copy it or click copy. So I have that, that code. I'm going to go ahead and minimize YouTube. I'm going to come back to my web page. And instead of this paragraph tag that was created because I hit the return key, I'm going to just hit my delete key and get rid of it. And I'm going to paste the code in I got from YouTube. So I'm going to go edit, paste. Okay, so the YouTube video is in here. The problem is that it's too big. And if I'm going to move the code open a little bit. Oops, I lost where it was. Let me scroll back. Here it is. Now, the video from YouTube was 560 by 315. And I need to change what's called the aspect ratio of it so it scales it properly. And to do that, I'm going to look at another page here. This is a calculator that calculates the aspect ratio of a page. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change what's currently 560 by 315, which is the same thing that's here, to something smaller. And my, my two columns here that were made up of the article tag are actually 460. So I'm going to come back to the aspect ratio cal calculator. And just to make sure that I have plenty of room, I'm going to change the pixel width to 400. Now, if I want to have a video that's 400, I also need to make sure that the height is 225. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. And instead of 5, 560, I'm going to put in 400 by 225 and it's going to scale it down properly again I picked up those numbers from here again if you want to go to this page it's listed right up here you can stop the video and you can go to it now it's embedded in my web page using an iframe, an iframe tag so I'm going to go ahead and preview it on the web my property palette's in the way. I'm going to come down here, preview. I'm going to save my changes. And there it is. I can go ahead and click on it. Perfect. Um, I will also be showing you how to insert your own video that you might have created and have on your desktop. All right something that seems like it should be fairly complex just really isn't in Dreamweaver. All right.